Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. Hello, my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading, Gemini. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, Gemini, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. And I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support my tarot reading channel in that way. As well, Gemini, let me know in the comments below which cards resonate with you and how they do, because that's how I keep up with you guys is through the comments. Um, and before we get into this reading for you, Gemini, I want to remind you to use your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Um, I believe when it comes to my tarot readings, at least, uh, Gemini, they're just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective to consider, Gemini, but never making the choice in your life because it is your life to live, not me, not mine, not these tarot cards, nobody's, uh, Gemini. So let's just now get into your weekly reading. I want to pull one more card though. Uh, there we go. There's your last card. So let's get into this reading now, Gemini. I pulled some cards for y'all already, just so I already, as if y'all weren't watching me do it, Gemini. I pulled some cards for y'all just so I could get an idea of what's, what is going on with you guys at this point. We have the ego card coming forward, which would be the devil card in normal tarot, I believe. Uh, number 15 equaling to six in numerology. Gemini, so write that card, or write that number down to see how it correlates with your life and just this reading uh, this week and uh, the meaning for it. Uh, this card says a false sense of entrapment, uh, being, being overtly focused on the material things, negative or fear-based thoughts. So uh, Gemini, and I'm looking at your other cards here, it does seem to be like there's like a little bit of anxiety uh, perhaps of uh, going on uh, for you in terms of seemingly like a situation on like how to handle something, how to handle something or how to handle someone. Um, anxiety. Uh, I almost called, <laughs> Gemini, I almost called you, well, I guess I did. I called you guys anxiety for a moment. Um, I get, yeah, I just get the sense that you're just kind of unsure about what to do in a situation when it comes to somebody. And just so, uh, or something, right? Uh, and you're just not sure what to do, right? And I see you just racking your brain trying to find the answer to it. Say it because you have the two of swords here, which says being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there is no problem. So when you have it with this dynamic, uh, Gemini, this is a situation of where it's like you're in your head. Do you take the, you know, when you're at this fork in the road, you're just like, do I take this path or do I take this path? Do I pretend like nothing's even happened? Do I just continue on and wait and see if anything happens from it, right? Do I do nothing, right? You're probably just in this place now where you just don't know what to do. Right, and I kind of just see a Gemini just kind of just like shrugging and just being like, well, what do you want from me? Right, that is something that I'm hearing. Um, you have the five of earth, which would be five of pentacles in normal tarot. And this would be, this two of air is two of swords in normal tarot. It's just with the elements, um, because air is the element for swords. And then earth is the element for pentacles. And this card says fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from other people uncertain self-employment so this could be a situation when it comes to like a job you don't know what to handle like when it comes to like in terms of your finances for a lot of you though uh gemini i do just feel strongly in that you just don't know what to do or how to handle a situation uh with something it does feel like there's just been like i keep on hearing stale right uh even with the two of swords or the two of air uh, Gemini, there's just like a stalemate with something. So I feel like this has been something that's been ongoing, right? You may, it kind of just like seems like you've been having like a stare contest with something or just like this heavy sense of um, mirroring on some level, uh, Gemini, with somebody. Um, and so it's just been like this constant looming over your head. And that would be why you'd be in this uh, five of earth or five of pentacle energy. 
uh, Gemini because this is just being anxious about it. You just aren't everything's just everything at this current point for you probably just feels extremely uncertain in your life, um, Gemini. And so then you have the Ten of Water coming in here, or the Ten of Cups. So this message really could be in either way, uh, Gemini. I'm not really getting just one specific type of situation, which of course, like the general readings, thousands of people, there's no way it's going to just be all Gemini's going through like a family situation or dealing with a person. It could be that financial, right? But this card says, uh, contented and rewarding family life. Uh, your emotional and material needs are met and trustworthy relationships. So this is where I feel like more so honing in on the message, uh, Gemini, on just up things being up in the air when it comes to just like your circle, like your close circle. That could just be your family. That could just be like people that you would consider like in a relationship with, in platonic or romantic, right? Um, it just does feel like you have some anxiety when it comes to this and just the stability that it that it has or the lack of stability and so it's one of those things where you just like you stopped moving you stopped taking any action because you didn't like what was starting to happen but then you still kind of just been frozen because you've just been waiting for things to maybe like resolve themselves uh gemini and it doesn't feel like things are resolving themselves it kind of feels like nothing's just happening it just does feel like this consistent stalemate and so it does feel like you're trying like that's the thing though, like nothing's really happened, but you're craving, I, I get the sense, uh, Gemini, that you're craving some type of closure with the situation. You're just like, it's all fine and dandy, but still need to just like hear the end of this, how the end of the story goes almost. Um, and so then you have the nine of fire in here, right? This card says, this would be the wands, by the way. Uh, this card says, don't give up protect that which you've created and have courage and believe in yourself. Such a cheesy message, right? But uh, Gemini, in this sense for you, I do feel like this is one of those things where uh, your journey as the Nine of Wands, I don't feel like you're going to progress because, I mean, I see the Nine of Wands as the individual Gemini that um, is in their process or on their journey to become the Queen of Wands or the queen of fire in this sense um i see this and so i get this feeling that until you get closure and i feel like you kind of sense this as well uh gemini that until you get closure on this situation you're not really going to feel like uh feel like you're moving able to move forward right and that's why we go back to the full circle moment uh here with the ego card i do feel like this is where it's just more so like you just feel stuck um, and not able to like move on because you're just so much energy is being put into this situation that you don't have closure in. Even if it's just like mentally, you're just constantly thinking about it because you're just like, what happened here? So the thing is with the ego card, Gemini, this says being um, a false sense of entrapment, right? So this is a false sense. So it's not a sense of where, how many times can I say sense? Uh, this is not a situation of where you are just stuck in this situation. You have to deal with it. Um, Gemini, don't feel like you, like, if this is involving this more than just one energy, right? Where it's something you can't yourself provide closure on, like it involves like other people or, or whatever. You don't need to have their permission to have closure, Gemini, right? You can give yourself closure and just like put, peace to the situation by just choosing to not care right sounds easier said than done but by you like for example looking for like an apology gemini or looking for this person to say something for you to get closure that's not a really getting closure on the situation because with closure ideally you are just done with that book right when you close that book when you close that chapter you're done with that chapter but for you to need another individual to say something or to do something, uh, Gemini, for you to have that closure, you're still giving them power on some level. You're giving them some type of influence over your life and over how you think about things. And by that logic, you're, that means you're still, they're still relevant um, in your head on some point, and so on some level. And so that's not the point of having closure, right? And so... If you can't get that from them or if they just won't get that from give that to you 
uh, Gemini, then just provide it to yourself and just be at peace and just have it so they're just irrelevant from your thoughtscape on some level, right? However that looks like to you. But um, just put things in perspective, uh, Gemini, in that like if they're not going to be part of your life anymore, do you really care about the apology? If that job isn't going, like you're not going to be working at this job anymore, do you really care about um, fulfilling that full two weeks before you leave the job, right? Who, what are you trying to prove, right? It's all in that sense where it's just like, put it in perspective, Gemini, like it's nothing, not like, you know, if <laughs> you don't want, like you, it feels just like, I know I might end up step on, stepping on some toes, Gemini, but um, just don't get yourself, don't trap yourself and tell yourself that you're trapped and powerless because the only one that's making you feel powerless in this situation would be you, Gemini. Remind yourself of who you are, right? Keep it going, right? Um, if someone doesn't appreciate your energy or, you know, just allow things to come and go into your life. That's that's just life, right, Gemini? So now let's just get into the blessings that are in the works for you this week, Gemini. What is What are the blessings going on for Gemini this week that are in the works? Let's see. Do one more. Okay. All right, Gemini, you got your card, by the way. You'll see what I mean in a moment. You have the Queen of Swords, the blessing. These are the, for the blessings on your way, Gemini. You have the Queen of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Lover's card. Now, for some of you guys, you might get some closure, Gemini, that we were talking about before, and it might end up seemingly being a happy ending, right? But this is, let me explain why. Right? And the lover's card is your card, by the way, is what I was meaning, Gemini. But in this sense, this is very much so I see you getting closure and feeling empowered in a situation that's intimate to you, right? With that two of cups here, this is just more so signifying to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's, it's signifying to me, at least, uh, Gemini, that uh, some type of intimate decision with this lover's card, um, I feel like this adds more so to the intimacy of it and like the decision finally being made. And then the Queen of Swords comes in as like just the sense of feeling empowered, um, having that closure, right? As the Queen of Swords, like you have those boundaries, you see everything for what it is, um, like there's no illusion anymore, right? And so you are able to have a plan for how you will go forward in your life after this. So that's why I do feel like I do see you, um, Gemini's, a lot more, more, than, more of you than not being happy with the closure that comes to you, that starts coming to you in this situation, right? Even if some of you guys are not happy with the initial way of how that closure looks, you'll be happy in the long run, at least, Gemini, in the fact that you did get closure uh, from this individual, from this job, from whatever it is that you do get closure. So celebrate yourself for that. Uh, now, Gemini, let's see what it is that you should be Let's see what it is that you should be uh, looking out for this week. Uh, I said, oh, because the card dropped, and the card that dropped was the lover's card, by the way. Again, your card, <laughs> Gemini. What is it that you should be looking out for this week? And you have all your cards just flying out in this deck. So let's see here. Let's get these cards situated, Gemini. I'm dropping them now, too. All right. So, wow. All right, so what it is that you should be looking out for this week, Gemini? Two of Cups, a Lover's Card, the Seven of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Gemini, like, <laughs> it's... My face is just the way it is because it's just weird how the Lover's Card and the Two Cups is following you throughout this and just in the different decks. I mean, this is why I use different decks, so it just should, like, really hits the messages just hit harder for everybody gemini but it's still just weird when it happens right with this this is just such a dynamic of where it's like the same thing to like the blessings to come with that closure is the same thing to look out for right this is more so like a situation though with the two of or the seven of wands and the eight of pentacles where it's like how you get this closure just allow it to teach you something 
uh, Gemini rather than feeling like a victim to it, feeling uh, too exposed to it. Does that make sense? I feel like I need to use an example to really explain the message. So let's just say that um, you get closure in a situation of where it's just like you find out like the person that you've been in a relationship with no longer loves you anymore, right? Um, you could take that experience and like, yeah, that's a punch to the stomach that sucks, right? Can't even imagine. But um, use it as a, an experience to like, yeah, experience your emotions with it, um, Gemini. But uh, see the positive in it and see how like now you no longer have to continue investing energies and pentacles into the situation anymore for a situation that just doesn't love you anymore, uh, Gemini. So... It's a heavy message in this way, and it, but it's just very fascinating to me how like these cards just came out in such a way, Gemini, because it's just, I don't know, it's just insane. I don't know. Maybe I'm the, like, let me know if I'm just alone in this, uh, Gemini, and geeking out about how the, the how these cards kind of came out. But um, yeah, now let's look at, let's see what the Oracle cards have to say, Gemini, before we close out this reading for you. I do feel drawn to do... Do one more animal oracle card. Let's see. Do this one. All right, Gemini. So we have the blue heron. Make a stand for what you believe in and do what you feels right is. Do what feels right in spite of any judgment or disapproval from others. Ooh, I feel like this card in specific is really gonna hit for a lot of Gemini's this week. I don't know why. You have the cat card coming in as well. It's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency on others. So this is like that codependency card. This is really talking about like such a heavy situation. All your cards are addressing like getting closure in this because I feel like all of them are correlated in like the closure in a situation. Uh, I feel like they're all speaking in the same situation and how to handle this situation, Gemini. So this really, I feel like is like such a pivotal time for you but i also feel like it speaks just volumes on like how long this stalemate probably has been going on uh for you gemini it's just interesting and then you have the mirror mirror cat card get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends like the gemini this really spells out like do you see what i mean like for the gemini's i, I, I dropped the card gemini that's why you see me off frame right now honey hello how are you doing um for the cards, for the Gemini's that are really resonating with this message, it's kind of crazy. Like I, I can imagine like how hard this is gonna resonate. Like I feel like this is definitely for a very specific Gemini group of Gemini's with how the, this message is coming through. Let's look at the Moon Oracle cards as well. Let's match the, I guess, the Animal Oracle cards, and we'll do three Moon Oracle cards, right? It's only fair, right? And plus, Gemini, I'm a Libra Scorpio cusp. I'm all about that balance, honey. So. The oracle cards we have for you, Gemini. We have the fixed moon, hold your vision. We have the new moon in Sagittarius, luck is on your side. And we have the full moon in just the full moon, surrendered to the divine. So this is a comforting message, I feel, Gemini. I feel like this more so just reaffirms the positive part of like the closure. Because it's like, hold the vision, luck is on your side, things are going to work out. Trust the process, right? Trust in the divine and the, the divine taking care of you, right? So now, uh, Gemini, the last part of this reading, before we close out this lovely weekly reading for you, uh, I'm going to pull a crystal or a stone card to see which crystal or stone that would be best for you to work with this week, uh, Gemini. Or if you're just trying to find an excuse to buy another stone or crystal, I'm your person to enable you, honey. Let's see here. You guys actually get my favorite stone ever, Gemini. You guys got the Lapis Lazuli. Laz, it's my favorite stone ever, but I, it's what my banner is actually. My uh, Simply Velka banner is made out of lapis. The design is. But yeah, Lapis Laz, Lazuli, Lazuli. <laughs> uh, and my favorite number as well, funnily enough, number three for numerology. So write that down as well, just because I like the number three. Uh, Lapis Lazuli uh, is a really good stone for your throat chakra, speaking and having confidence as you're speaking. It really is good for communing with the spiritual, uh, with 
spiritual beings, but also you have to acknowledge the gold flux into it as well. So it's a really, um, it's a really elegant stunt. Obviously, you can tell it's extreme bias with me describing it, huh? All right, I should just stop and let you look at the properties of lapis so you can see how it correlates with your life at this time. But yeah, lapis is a wonderful stone to always work with, full bias, Gemini. But that is the reading that I have for you this week, Gemini. If you enjoyed this weekly reading, let me know in the comments below which tarot cards resonated with you. Uh, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Gemini. As well, Gemini, I do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs, not just Gemini. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, even if they're not Gemini, I would really appreciate it. If you were to give, uh, send my video a link to one of your friends and maybe they'll find a tarot message, tarot message that resonates with them. Until next time, Gemini, I love you so much. Bye.